there was a devastating letter as part of the evidence provided by the solicitors Harbottle and Lewis from Clive Goodman, who was the Royal Correspondent jailed in 2007. He was appealing his dismissal and he makes allegation, he made allegations that the whole editorial team uh, at News of the World were involved in discussions around phone hacking at the time that Andy Coulson was the editor of the paper. So I think there are a number of senior executives who have a, many more questions to answer this afternoon. So, so this would go against the claim that it was one rogue reporter and that News International did not know that it went beyond that one rogue reporter, Clive Goodman? If Clive Goodman's letter is accurate, and we don't know that yet, mm. it's an allegation from Clive Goodman, but if it's accurate, the whole foundation of the company's defence for the last three years collapses. And it also shows that Andy Coulson's previous evidence uh, was misleading to Parliament. Yeah, I was just going to ask you this, because go right back to number 10, doesn't it? Because the claim is that this was widely discussed in editorial conference until explicit reference of phone hacking was banned by the editor. The editor at the time was Andy Coulson. Yes, and let's remember in the spring of 2007, that was also the time that David Cameron was talking about hiring uh, Andy Coulson. So Andy Coulson would have had a duty, if it was accurate, to have raised that with, uh, with David Cameron. I'm not sure if he did. But also in, in Goodman's letter, perhaps more importantly, he says that Andy Coulson and the lawyer Tom Crone gave him an assurance he could keep his job if he failed to implicate others in the mitigation of, of his criminal case. And that's a very serious allegation for him to make. Uh, you've also been discussing who should be recalled uh, before yes. the committee uh, for hearings in September. What is the likelihood of James Murdoch reappearing? Well, we have determined as a committee, and this goes for MPs on all sides of the House, to get to the facts of this case. And we all agreed that it's highly likely that James Murdoch would be recalled. We're and what taking... would you want to be hearing from James Murdoch? Well, we're, we, we're going into the detail of this case now. So we want, we're, first of all, we want to talk to the former editor, Colin Myler, and the former lawyer, Tom Crone. We want to get a detail detailed account of their understanding of payments made to Gordon Taylor. That's very significant in this case because it shows there was an illegally hacked voicemail transcript that was, that was used as part of a settlement. And we want to know what they knew and then it's likely we'll take, Gordon Taylor, we'll take uh, James Murdoch after that. As you say, you are getting into the detail of this. How close do you think you are to actually getting to the bottom of what was happening? Well, we've been on this for over two years mm. now. And day by day, week by week, we're slowly getting to the facts. But I think we've got months, if not years, to go before we get the whole story.